hey guys this is amplify and today we will talk about paradox of fractional oxidation number what is the meaning of paradox paradox simply means contradiction contradiction to itself you can say we already know that oxidation numbers are never fractional we have discussed that but there are some molecules in which after calculating the oxidation number you will find that the oxidation number are in fraction and we will discuss why they are in fraction this is paradox of fractional oxidation number let's start first of all let's see the statement in certain compounds in certain compounds the oxidation number of a particular element is found to be fractional number there are a certain compounds in which when you calculate the oxidation number the oxidation number is in fraction for example c3o2 in this particular molecule calculate the oxidation number of carbon right we will calculate the oxidation number for carbon so start calculating 3 into x plus 2 into minus 2 is equal to 0 when you calculate the value of x you will find it is plus 4 by 3 which means oxidation state of each carbon in this particular molecule is plus 4 by 3 but this is not true why because in this particular molecule each carbon atom have different oxidation state let's go to the next statement that is but in reality it is the continuation of the previous statement but in reality the elements are present in different oxidation states in the compound the fractional oxidation state is the average of all the oxidation states now there are three carbons let it be c1 c2 c3 let the uh, oxidation state of carbon 1 be x oxidation state of carbon 2 be y and oxidation state of carbon 3 be z when you take the average that is x plus y plus z upon 3 you will get plus 4 by 3 that's how you reach this oxidation state right and how can you find the individual oxidation state by looking into the structure of the compound so we will now take a look at the structure of the compound this is the second statement now we will take a look at the structure of the compound the structure of c3o2 is like this c double bond c double bond c double bond o double bond o now we have to look for the oxid oxidation state of each carbon atom so after calculating or uh, the experimental data shows that the central carbon atom has zero oxidation state and the outer ca carbons have plus 2 and plus 2 oxidation state now you have to take the average start taking the average upon 3 you will get plus 4 by 3 this was your fractional oxidation state that you calculated using the natural method that was given to you in the previous video right that's how you reach the fractional oxidation state but in reality the actual oxidation states are plus 2 plus 2 and 0 right so this is the paradox of fractional oxidation number now there, let's take some more examples look at this structure br3o8 there are three bromium atoms bromine atoms and eight oxygen atoms right now after looking at the structure it will be found that each bromine atom has different oxidation state and what are that and what are those oxidation state this one will be plus 6 this one will be plus 6 and this one will be plus 4 now after looking at the structure you can easily tell that this bromine atom is not taking an effect on this central bromine atom and this central bromine atom is also not taking any effect on the external bromine atom right but the oxidation state of oxygen is generally taken minus 2 minus 2 minus 
right so this will make minus 6 when it will go to the other side it will give you plus 6 for example let's take x plus minus 2 into 3 for this this side only for this side you will find x is equal to plus 6 right again for this side you will find for bromine atom x is equal to plus 6 now for the central part for the central part there are only two oxygen atom so it will be x plus minus 2 into 2 is equal to 0 x is equal to plus 4 that's how you can reach the conclusion easy now let's calculate the average oxidation state of bromine atom right start calculating plus 6 plus 4 plus 6 by 3 you will get 16 by 3 this is the fractional oxidation state for br 3 o 8 right now let's take one more example or the la or our last example s 4 o 6 2 minus ion this is an ion right this is an ion given below is the structure now there is two negative charge this two minus is present on this this oxygen and this oxygen so these two outer oxygens are already carrying minus one charge so this time the oxidation state of these two oxygens will be considered as minus two minus two minus two minus two and since it is already given for this and this oxygen it will be considered as minus 1 and minus 1 the central sulfur atoms will have zero oxidation state and just like cal just like calculating like the previous one you can clearly choose this part and this left side part calculate the oxidation state will be plus 5 for sulfur and plus 5 for sulfur taking the average you will get plus 5 plus 0 plus 0 plus 5 by 4 is equal to 10 by 4 is equal to 5 by 2. That's how you reach the fractional oxidation state for any particular atom or element. Alright. So, this is paradox of fractional oxidation number it is nothing but average oxidation state of all the atoms in a particular molecule all right this will be it for today's video in the next video we will continue with some other topic thank you very much